Hello everybody. Northern Michigan trail ride. You have a big hill climb. So wait till you see this. Alright, let's get this going. It's getting a little dark, but not too dark. We are staying at the off-grid house down here. Or up here, way up in northern Michigan again. If you yes, man, we we're getting after it. We're gonna do a little two-track riding. It's pretty cold out here. This is when the deer should be coming out. There's a deer. A 52 in the gravel, dirt. Two miles of dirt is like... So we are going to be heading straight into that darkness. Okay, this is the two tracks now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me. I don't know what episode we're on, but we're over here trying. Trying to keep some videos coming for y'all. I got a lot of ideas. We got some... Uh, some actually some new brake pads coming here Monday which is to you guys irrelevant but to me will be in two days so my next video I should have some Shimano pads I'll be testing out and uh, hopefully after the braking period I can kind of let you guys know how they work but I'll be checking my left hand side here because the hill comes up and it's on state land so nobody can tell you no but you see all these cutoffs man it's just everywhere up here for miles and miles you can go any direction you want and you guys <laughs> nothing's out here oh speaking of um being out here in the middle of nowhere earlier we were riding and it was kind of ironic because you got all these fresh tracks that are daily and fresh bear prints right in front of us so it was like and they were fresh you could see the wetness on the like when you dig under a little like like that how you got the wetness that's what you could see under the claws so we knew he was in the woods now this i'm not going to be able to make it without a lead up you see this stuff it's just fluffy you need a 200 horsepower but four in it we're not moving finally it grips let's just hold it hold it hold it hold it uh, I want to say we did this, so let's just keep. Oh, it wants to pop it. Ah, and then there's no weight on it. So well, since we see my fail there, all right. So this is still sand, but I had I, I made it earlier. So, but it starts out not too horrible, turns into better stuff. Let's go. Hi. Huh? Hi. Huh. Oh my gosh! And we're on the ground. Holy camole. So just today since I've been here, obviously these side-by-sides have been coming and they have made it like I'm in slush. Right here I gripped earlier because it's flat. Oh my gosh. We're going another round at that. That was a struggle. But we're up here. And then within feet, <laughs> you're just you can't even see the bottom, but you're way down. Let's go over here. Somebody drove their little four-wheeler thing up here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh, I have. Oh. Oh. Holy come on. Holy come on. Oh. That was insane. Let's just power it, power it, power it, power it, power it, power it. Power it. Power, 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 power. Power, 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 power. Let's do this. Yes, yes. My front end is everything just goes everywhere. Now we're gonna go this way. And I just float in this don't really have to press your brakes as this stuff just kind of sucks you up and up oh it's a balance game it's a balance game oh. Oh. that was uh that sucked yeah buddy 
That's insane though, that sand. I'm telling you, it's like powder. That's another thing. It's like all these. Don't know where I'm at, but I will take it. The other thing, I should be vlogging where I'm at right now because I will not know how to get back. I'm saying when you get lost, you just start going different directions. What's this, jump? <laughs> That's awesome. Don't give me no crap about any of these e-bikes making it up that sand. You need it or actual, no, no way. You need a real bike to make it up that stuff. Something with a freaking motor that's gonna kick it into high gear. Oh, I thought that was something like that branch. Oh, man. Yeah, exactly what you think it would be. Some deer. Let me set my bike here. Let's go show you this. So these little paths, look, if you got something like this, it's running right down to the water. Sit here and uh, smoke a joint. Whatever you want to do. Peaceful. And this water is clear. Like almost water, but I mean, this stuff is clear, beautiful stuff. Thing is more capable than I would have ever given it credit for for this skinny little tire. And, uh, something like that. I mean, I guess you can't really tell, but you're digging in four or five inches. You don't even need to sit on your bike. Just sit on it afterwards and pop your wheelie. Really. So I can kind of walk it. So, oh, I got, I got sand. My throttle was just stuck, but it was stuck on stop. It's, it's, it's stuck. If I don't. Look at that, if I don't push it back, it's stuck. Look at that. Oh baby, that's wild. So, that's like a cruise control. Holy crap, that's cruise control, baby. Oh! So, so that little tip down I did, which I noticed every time I let this thing fall in the sand. And what, we could even follow the side of this rock. You can cruise wherever you want to cruise. That's what's awesome about this bike. Anything. Wee. But this is that stuff you don't want to ever run across the line that somebody put somewhere just to be that person, you know? So we will kind of. I don't know for sure if I'm on a statement or so, but leave their stick with them. I think. I don't know if I have cruise control still on. Nope. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So just depending on where you're at, I got a winder through a couple times. So. Yeah, as I was saying, the thing I remember about this from a couple times being up here is whenever I drop my right side down into this sand, like I, whoo, like I said, how powdery this is, um, it gets in that throttle. So I don't know if they make throttles that don't do that. This is the jump spot. I am on my way back. That's good. My front brakes are the only brakes that work, by the way. So this little throttle game we're playing of uh, this added feature Tolari is giving me right now a subscription based feature is not the funnest because my rear brakes do not work I can put on regen I guess uh, so that's always a nice backup plan if you do have no brakes regen but you see we're cruising through this stuff this is powder my front end wants to suck around and it doesn't matter as long as you power through it where are we at that hill got the best of me I mean, I can, but like earlier I did even better. I did a lot better than that. This, this beat me up. <laughs> Made me feel bad dropping that bike down like a little baby. 40 on the two tracks. Not recommended. What happened to me if I fell at 40? That's the question. That is the question. What's that? Is that that same path? We gotta kind of see real quick. Does it lead us right back to the dungeon? Nope. I don't know. Man, that was beaten down, huh? Okay, by a vehicle. Okay, did I mention dungeon? This is what I meant by the dungeon. When you start to get to the woods where you just can't see. And I do carry tool bag on me. 
I carry this life straw, so heaven forbid I hurt something and like my legs, say I broke both legs. I don't know, I guess I can walk, but say I hurt something or I'm stuck out here, I do not have a cell phone. These life straws, you can get them at Costco or anywhere online, but I mean, Costco, you get a five pack or something for like 20 bucks, which makes it, uh, I think you can have 2,000 gallons of water go through it, more than you're ever gonna be sucking. So if you're sucking more than 2,000 gallons of water out of that, you're a professional something and money is not an object for you because you need a bigger hole at that point, I guess. I don't know. You, hey, no, Life Straw. Life Straw sells, not a sponsorship, they spell or they sell other stuff too. Um, so bigger devices, I guess, for that type of person. Hey, that's me. That's me. If you're powering it, it just leaves that mark the whole way. I'm gonna turn my light off so there's a stop sign. Look at that. Without that, you don't see nothing. Um, well, you might, but not me. We Gosh, this thing flies. Oh. A little better spot to do this. Take a little break. I love it all, other than my brack brakes are shot. For the $3,000 you're paying for this thing, unreal. Un paid 2000 for a one wheel i get two wheels with this 10 times the range my my flap is doing awesome that's doing sweet sand's not doing anything to the chain that uh that stuff i bought that i did a little review on in the video i didn't do a full review on it but that stuff worked pretty swell back suspension holding up Front suspension, can't imagine it's going to be holding up for a long time further. I've been hitting it and beating it up on everything. You want to do a little bit of donut action up there? We can. Just like that. You're wide open. It's, we were cruising at 40 earlier. Bunnies, we were cruising at 40, 43. Maybe faster with uh, with no helmets on earlier, like a bunch of idiots. Me and the father-in-law. You get out having fun and you don't stop. But uh, that aerial rider actually cruised pretty good through all that same stuff we went through. Um, show you what these no motor vehicle trails. A little bit of bike action on it. Let's kind of show you what these are about. Freshly log cut. You can see. They just totally take a huge square. Obviously, it's the same everywhere throughout all over, but just take this out. They can do this in a couple weeks. Just take everything out. We're taking a no motor vehicle trail that ironically has truck size, you know, ruts going down each side. Meant for doing a little justice because I love when it dips down like that. That's why they wanted you to stay on trail. If you went off the trail on your snowmobile, still. You go, kiss your life goodbye, because you're either hitting a tree or you're falling 70, 80 feet down to the water down there. No thank you. Do not go 50, 51 mile an hour in the dark down two tracks when you don't know if there's a bump or anything. Yeah. That's Walmart right here. And this is... This is still our neighbor, yeah, this will show you. Walling Road, damn. I think, oh, great, ah, parent-in-laws, I should say. And it's been coming up here 10, for 10 years now, or they owned it for 10 years. And so, uh, we have never been on this type of action riding through these trails like this. Oh, crap. This could be just what you love to hear. Tons of coyotes. Just what you love to hear. Jeez. Where am I, guys? Oh, let's just look at the, look back at the video, Josh. Just look back at your video. Something so simple end up so bad. I don't understand. 
I cannot, my light, I must have put the battery in backwards. I know that battery's charged. I put that sucker in there. I don't know why that light will not turn on, so I'm dealing with the Talaria factory headlight. Thank you, Talaria, for stuffing us with this out in the middle of this. Gosh, where are we, guys? I need to hit a main road. Where is the main road? I feel that was the main road I was on, but this is a cut. This is, this is a fresh cut. This has got to be the cut that was by our house. Road, that's a stop sign. I am so happy to see that. Let's look at what we did. We're getting better at that, guys. Look how tight that circle was. I can't, you know what's wild is uh, I've been pinning this so much that we went from pretty much 100% battery to we're at 56, I think. That was pretty nice little cruise. My throttle is still stuck seemingly, but it actually feels so close to being perfect that it won't matter. That sand will come right out. Uh, 